Good morning, Warriors. It's Tuesday. It's Coach Josh here, live from the Training for Warriors Dojo. We are going to build some strength and muscle today uh, via our, uh, our, our upper body focus workout. So get ready for a lot of arms today, arms and core. You're going to have a blast. And the, uh, uh, the, the moment I just want to take with you is just a, a reminder of what's most important to you and the 10 penny challenge. And what are you, you know, uh, posing the question, what are you focused on? So if you're, uh, if you're working heavily on nutrition and you're making sure that you get the greens and the protein, you know, make sure that you're, every time you make a good decision, you're acknowledging it and you're taking that penny and putting it into the pocket or you're putting it, you're know, sliding it across your desk if you're, if you're tracking that working from home. Um, or if you're, you know, working on journaling and putting some gratitude down. Uh, make sure you're monitoring that. But the, uh, the, the important thing that the, 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 what the pennies are doing are they're taking it from your conscious, unconscious mind to your conscious mind. And they're, they're, they're giving you that little mental reward for taking the action and, and, and moving a step forward. Now, we're all working on different things, but the, uh, it's the process that matters. So making sure you're, you're slowing down, taking the time to dig deep and get into that uh, into your habits and, and, um, keep track of those, of those pennies. All right. Especially you, Steve. I know you, uh, I know you got to work on that, that exercise. Haven't been uh, doing a lot of physical fitness lately. I'm just, I'm just busting on you. All right, warriors. We're going to do some, uh, we're going to do some strength training this morning. Uh, let's get after it. We're going to start with some circles going through the extremities. So I've got my hands together. I'm going to do some wrist circles. Going all the way around. Stretching those wrists. That can work. When I'm done with those wrists, go into the arm circles. So I'm flexing and extending the elbows, rotating the arms. Great, these little circles out, in. Good chance to wake up, knock the dust off. After it, big circles. All the way around, all the way through, forward. Crisscross, stretches, X, bicep. We'll go into an important one. We'll be doing this later. We're going to go up and down. Palms facing forward, palms facing back. With the scapula moving in different positions. Day up. Feel great after yesterday. So I'm here from the side, I'm going to twist from side to side. And keep that twist going. Now I'm going to touch. I'm trying to keep those arms straight and legs straight. So I'm stretching my hands straight, stretching the legs. Yeah. Lower extremities, ankles, rotating, drawing circles with my big toe, clockwise, counterclockwise. Tired, not that tired. Got 
Snap, crackle, pop with those guys. Now knees, knees circles. So I'm not putting a lot of pressure, but I'm gonna start small circles, feet together, letting those knees drift over my toes a little bit, opening up. I'm gonna get bigger and bigger circles as I go through. Counterclockwise. All right, so we're going to do some uh, exercises on the floor to get our shoulders ready for action. We're going to start with a uh, classical dead bug. So I'm on the, on the ground. And the, dead, the purpose of this dead bug is to activate the core, specifically keep the obliques on the rib cage trapped as my arm reaches overhead. So when I lift up, we have a tendency to lift with our, our chest and our rib cage rises. So what I want to do is the rib cage to stay in the same position. And as I reach overhead, with that rib cage pulled down, what's gonna happen is my lat and my pet will be forced to release its hold on that shoulder and that arm. So we're gonna use our breathing to help us out. So we're gonna exhale while we do it. And exhale and press the rib cage as we reach overhead. That's really going to help our shoulders feel a little bit better this morning. So we're on the ground. So exhale as you reach. And then if you're feeling good about it, you can add the leg into it, opposite arm, opposite leg. We're really focused on the upper body right now. And exhale. We're going to go 10 reps on each side. Depress that rib cage by the press. I mean, push it, the tip of that high rib cage, push it into the ground. So I can feel like my abs really struggling with this. But one of the things we're doing here, we're integrating our breathing into our stretching, which really helps a lot too. Yeah. So, then some reps on the dead bug. So, we've sort of stretched out at least that peck and lat. Now we're going to do some thoracic spine rotation. So I'm going to be in this four point position, sitting on my feet, fingertips behind the ears, touching my elbow to elbow. Looking underneath my elbow, with the ceiling. So my hip stays in the same place, my upper body rotates. So I'm gonna do 10 reps here on the right, and then I'm gonna do 10 reps on the left. You can see, you might be a little stiff, might be a little challenging or tighter on one side than the other. That's okay, that's why we're doing it. If you wanna time your breathing, inhale while you reach up and look up. It's really uh, revealing where we keep our tension, what's tight, what's not. All right, so we, we did some, some reaches there. Now we're going to have a little bit more fun, and we're going to get warmed up with a, a sit out to tripod. So we're going to use those shoulders, and we're going to really exercise the rear delt and that rotational capacity of the shoulder. So I'm going to be here in the four point, step out, put my weight on that outside foot, kick through, pull that foot in, drive up, both my hips facing the ceiling, my shoulder is really working to prop me up, come through, other side, same thing. So I'm going down, pivoting to the outside, sitting through, reaching up to the sky. Have to be, we have to be creative when it comes to getting those joints warmed up. Here, 
with very, very few tools. But we start to get the dojo back open, a lot more access stuff. Per side. Okay. Now we got those shoulders going. Whew. We are ready for action. So today we're going to do a couple of supersets, and uh, we're going to start off with the kneel, the kneeling curl to Arnold press. So this is going to be tough for a variety of reasons. One is we're going to do it from the kneeling position. So I'm going to be on the ground. So I'm going to curl into this uh, 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 whatever position this is. Then I'm going to rotate out, press up. I'm going to come back down. I'm going to eccentric curl. That's one. The whole time my butt's on, my rib cage is down, my knees are pushing the pad apart, the earth apart. Really engaged in my lower body. All the way out. In. So focused on what my butt is doing, my abs are doing, my rib cage is doing. And then when I come up, coming from the shoulder position, sweep out and press at the same time, you know, all the way back down. We're just gonna do five reps right now, but I want you to really play around with your weight and feel how hard it is. You have a lighter weight, you can go slower to drag out the tempo to increase the challenge. If you have a heavy weight, you can just go clean through about a second and a half up, second and a half up for the, the concentrics, and then control down. So that's our first exercise. Our second exercise is the dumbbell split stance row, which we did, uh, we've done these before. Last time we did them, you know, with that thumb pointing to the inside of the rib cage. Now, what we're going to do is the thumb is going to be you're going to be doing thumbs up, so your, your palm will be pointing inside to the rib cage. This is going to let you use your lap to help you a little bit more. So, it could be a little bit easier for some people. What it looks like is I'm in a big split stance, the back is as horizontal as I can get it. So, I'm weak here, and I'm going to start that long lower. Hold that dumbbell into my hip, palm facing in. I'm not going to make my hand go super high. What I'm doing is I'm just completely lifting that elbow to the sky, pulling that shoulder blade down towards the spine, but really using my lower lat to get going. For the warm up, I'm just going to do a few reps on each side. Just did five there. Then I'm going to move to the other side. Then I'm going to do five. One. Two, three, four, five. So, again, if it's got a lightweight, go slower, do more reps. If you have a heavy weight, then just second up, second and a half, two seconds down, that's fine. We're going to do eight reps of the curl to press, curl to arm press. We're going to do 12 reps on each side. Of a split stance row. We always want to pull, pull a little bit more than we push. So we're, low, we're, we're, we're getting our reps in on that split stance row. Okay, so round one, it's go time. Here on the ground, glutes on, curl. Yeah, one. So, you don't have to go out too far. It looks like I'm going real far because I have really long arms, but I'm really trying to keep my, my weight inside my center of gravity. So, sometimes it, uh, you just have to navigate my feel in your body. But I'm going to start my rotation. As soon as I start to press, I'm rotating out. By the time I get up there, I'm already completely rotated. Or 
five, six, seven, and yes, eight. So first first round of my cold presses. Moving on to my split stance rows. So I'm here, it's long. One, two, three, and okay. even tempo. Four, five. On my way up, my hip is dragging towards my hip bone. Seven. I'm doing that on purpose. Eight. Nine. Ten. Eleven. Twelve. One. Two. Three. Four. Five. Six. Seven. Eight. Nine. Ten. Eleven. Twelve. All right. Here we go. So, rest periods. Yeah, heavy weight, 60 seconds. That was, that was just me kind of practicing. I'm gonna get right back into it. You don't need to rest a ton if you don't have a lot of weight in your hands. Some of you have gyms at home, which is great. But I'm gonna go right back into it because I lift heavy here. So we'll see how this feels. A little bit more. Two. Notice I'm swaying a little bit, but I'm not going to break my posture. Very hard to control the kneeling position. Four. Five. But I'm not, not losing my glutes. Six. Seven. Ah. Ah. Eight. A little bit of discomfort is okay. It's okay. okay. Split stance. Rows. Get wide. One. Two. Three, concentrate on what that elbow is doing on the way up. Keep it into the rib cage. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Yes. Wall reps, other side. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Yeah. Okay. Now I'm feeling the tension in my shoulders. What to do? If you feel challenged with the way you're at, great. Stick with that weight, stick with that tempo. If it's easy, again, slow it down. Add a couple of reps. <clears throat> See 
how it feels. A little bit more juice. All right, Warriors, we're coming to top three. Glutes on, spread the third part with my knees. One. Oh, that's not one yet. That is one. A lot going on here. Two. Three. Four. Five. Six. Oh my gosh. Yes. It's a good sign. It's a little challenging. Seven. Ah! All right, round three is well underway. Split stands in deep. 12 reps per side. On space in, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Yes. All right. Notice I stopped, I started with my offhand. Hands a little weaker so that I can match it. If I couldn't do 12 good reps, I would just match it with my right hand to maybe adjust the weight. One, two, three. Get some water for resting. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Oh, Josh. Last three reps, I always do it. One more round. One more round, Warriors. Going up on round four. Believe it or not, this is the easy part of the workout. <clears throat> Last set. Best set. All right. I found this challenging to stay here. And it's wrong. One. Two, three, four, five, six, yes, seven. Come on, Jack. Come on, Josh. Five, eight. All right. Nice. Going into the row. Very strong. Focus on that technique. So, split stance. In the lean. One. Two. Three. Now you got four, five, six, 
seven, eight, ten, eleven, five, burning, good, that's what we want. I will stretch. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Twelve. Ah. All right. Well done. So here we go. As you calm down from that circuit, we're going to do three exercises this next round. Everything is 15. We're going to go 15 I's, 15 T's, and then the 15 second ISO hold on the perfect back extension. So for clarity purposes, the eye, that is, we're directly overhead. We're not in a line, we're not in a T, we're directly overhead. So I'm gonna be in the bent position. I'm gonna come into the eye. I'm gonna come down to that ski jumper, just because it's also good for my shoulder, but I'm gonna go overhead 15 times. So with bicep by the ear, Steve. And then what you're gonna do, nice rebook in here. You're gonna do 15 keys. The same position. So we got a lot of reps on the shoulders. And then we're going to lie on the ground and do the perfect back extension. So we're here, out, in, and I'm gonna hold it. Fingers splayed, elbows towards the hips, eyes 12 inches in front of me for 15 seconds. So, everything is, everything is uh, basically the same muscle group, just slightly different angles. So we can really work to correct our posture and correct our strength. So, 15 seconds, hold on the back extension, you're not going to move, you're just going to keep your shoulder blades squeezed together. Everything's on. I'll narrate what we're looking for as we go. All right. Let's get this show on the road. All right. The eye. From here, the hinge. Left back. Chest up. Push the balls of my feet. I'm going to go overhead. All the way down. Overhead. So my thumb is always going to point inside. My thumb always points towards my body. My palm doesn't point towards the body. Thumb points to the ceiling. I'm down here. That points to the floor. So I reach overhead. Eight. Nine. Ten. Eleven. 12, 13, shoulder blades should move around, 14, 15, now I'm just doing the T, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, and 15. Now I'm on the ground. Here I am. You can push into the floor. I'm going to draw my elbows towards the hip bones. Eyes right here. Shoulders lift away from the ears. Three, four, five. Six, elbows towards the hip, squeeze the shoulder blades together and down. 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 
12, 13, 14, 15. You should feel like the low back, upper back, neck, shoulders, all the good stuff. Amen. Okay. That was one round. We have two more rounds to go. Really need to develop that posterior chain strength and stability. So we're going to hit it again. I'm glad you got enough rest. I did too. It's back at back in action. Here we go. Butt back, chest up, and overhead, back down. One, two, three, four, five. Tricep stay straight. Six, seven. Eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. So, warriors, if you're feeling tired from these, remember, you're using your shoulders all day long to do stuff. Got to be able to hold posture. Going into the T. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. 15. All right, back to the uh, back extension from the floor. 15 second ISO hold on the ground. Ground here. And then bring it in. 2,000, 3,000. Elbows into the back, or into the hips. 5,000, 6,000, 7,000, 8,000, 9,000, 10, 11. 12, 13, 14, 15. Ha! All right. Woo wee! Feel that. Okay. One more round. We got one more round of these uh, lovely shoulder parade. This lovely shoulder parade. That's what you call it. That's it! That's it! Good warriors. So keep your uh, keep your composure. Let's finish strong. Butt back, chest up, overhead. Again, thumbs pointing in. Really focus on the technique. Three, four, five, six. Seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. Keys. Yes, so excited. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. Oh, yeah. All right, now we're on the floor. Get that back extension going. Come down. Okay. So, pull the shoulder blades away from the ears, down and back. 1,000, 2,000, 3,000, 4,000, 5,000, 6,000, 7,000, 8,000, 9,000, 10,000, 
11,000, 12,000, 13,000, 14,000, 15,000. Ha ha! Yes. All right. So, <clears throat> we uh, roast the shoulders, we roast the upper and lower back. Now, we're going to do some core training. It's going to help us, we're going to focus on arms while we're doing it. And it's going to be way, way enough for the rest of the body, too. So, we're going to do a floor press with that uh, hip extension. So, it's your weights that you were playing with earlier. So what we're going to do is, we're going to do six reps of the floor press, we're going to do 12 plank up-downs, and then we're going to do a, a, tip, a standard plank for 24 seconds. So six, 12, 24 is the reps, and then I'm going to demo the exercises right now so you can see them. So for the, uh, the uh, floor press, I'm going to get into the bridge, then I'm going to push up. Two, three, four, I'm going to do six reps. I'm coming down, and as soon as my triceps I can feel on the ground, just slow down. So slow down, fast up. Then I'm going to ditch the weight, and I'm going to fall over, and I'm going to do a plank up down. So keep it apart, push it up, put it back down. Up. Back down, up, back down. I'm going to do that 12 times. Then I'm going to drop into the plank, iso hold, feet and knees together. I'm going to tight, glutes are on, squeezing, shoulders away from the ears for 24 seconds. So I'm going to count that out loud. Woo wee! All right, let's dance. So six reps of the floor press with the hip extension. So when I'm doing this, I'm squeezing my glutes, pushing through my whole foot on the floor. And I'm going slow. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I'm going to roll over, feet apart. Keeping my hips and shoulders at the same height. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Keep these together. One pass, two pass, three pass, four pass. Shoulders away from the ears. Boots up. Hips low. Nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three, twenty-four. Oh yeah, nice. So, one of the things that you can feel in that one is all the energy pools drain out of your triceps, your chest, and your shoulders. That's the goal and purpose of that. We're getting all the muscle fibers, all the different ways. So, we're gonna rest a little bit. Let's see that blood return, water return, oxygen, she can perform. So we're gonna take about a 60 second break, get about 30 seconds left of that. Then we're gonna do it again. Okay. 
Woohoo! So we have two more rounds of the 6, 12, 24. And then we're gonna get into dessert. Right. <clears throat> Jungle Warriors, every rep counts. Clip, crisp, smooth, clean and clear. Second round. On your back, butt the air, boots on, root kicks down. One, two, three. Control that and set. Five, keep those butt cheeks squeezed. And six. Okay. Right, up downs. If you get fatigued on the up down, just hold the, just go to the holding of the plank part. One, two, three, four, five, six. Seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Keep these together. One thousand, two thousand, squeeze in those shoes. Four, five, six, seven, eight, 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 16 pounds, 17 pounds, 18 pounds, 19 pounds, 20, 1, 2, 3, 4. All right. Simple but effective. We have one more round to go. We bring our best to that one. Absolutely. So, We're not using state-of-the-art equipment. We're not using uh, fancy uh, exercises. It's simple. It's proven. It's, it's not what we do. It's how you do it. We're just assembling things in, a, in an order and a sequence that can help you develop, even if it is a little bit painful. <laughs> a little bit of discomfort. That's okay. That's what it is. That's called your growth edge. So we're embracing the growth edge here at Train for Voyage. All right. That's it. That's it. All right. So I'm on my back. Focusing on keeping those glutes on, hip suit extension. One. Two. Three, four, five. Let's say it's on six. I need one more just to make sure I got it. Seven. Yes. Okay. Back up, dance. Make them look good. Only the good reps. From here. One, two, three. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, five, twelve planks. Grab the plank. Beat these together. And two. Three, three kicks down, four, shoulders away from the ears, keep that tongue over one, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, squeeze those shoes together, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, one, two, Three, four, yeah. yes, yes. Thank you, Sarah, for helping us figure out how to slow down time. <laughs> you did a great job with that. I was frozen time for a moment. 
Okay, warriors. It's time for some dessert. So, what we're going to do is we're going to do our knee grabs, two spine push ups, and we're going to end with the squat. So, knee grabs on your back. Your whole body is moving together. I'm throwing my arms. Grip the shin. Shoulder blades touch the ground, but the head doesn't. Two. Every time the shoulder blades touch, that's one. Three. Four. Five. Six. Seven. Eight. Nine. Ten. High. So. Those knee grabs in, beautiful. The push up. You're going to do a wide stance push up, and every time you get to the top, you're going to reach for the sky. That's what the T spine push up is. Wide stance, push up, reach for the sky. We're going to do 10. One, two, three, four, five. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. <laughs> Trembling. It's almost like I was using my arm for something here. All right. So squat with hamstring bias. So it's a chance for us to stretch the hamstrings. Practice the squat, deep shoulder apart, drop my butt down, grip to the inside of my shoe, chest up, reach it out, inhaling, chin to chest, exhale. So when I do the chin to chest, that's my chance to really stretch that posterior chain. Woo, it's two. We're gonna do 10 squats. Three, four, five. Okay, warriors, we just pulled off one of the best tricks in strength training, and that is knowing when to quit. I have a little bit more juice left in me, but I have a long week ahead. And so rather than deplete myself today, I'm gonna to save that little ounce, a little extra for the recovery so I can have a good workout tomorrow and stay on track. And I hope you do the same and continue to win the 10 penny challenge and continue to build on your mental and physical recovery and continue to bring forth the warrior within.